Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily energies reading followed by a fortune message. This will be for the 23rd of September 2024 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. These are mini readings separate to the bigger readings that I do where we will pull a card for health, heart, abundance. Look at the energies intuitively and then complete the reading with a fortune message for the day. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. Let's start with health. What do we have for Cancer 23rd? Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. So we have the Emperor. Heart, the Six of Wands, and Abundance, we have the Ace of Cups. All right, Cancer. So, some big energies here. Always nice to see an Ace as well. Health and healing energies. The Emperor can be a father figure, father of the Tarot, so... It might well be that there is an opportunity here to either support someone on a healing journey in health areas, could be a father. For others of you, it might well be healing with a father figure as well when the emperor appears. The emperor can also represent somebody who is experienced at the top of their game, uh, somebody who is absolutely in charge you could be dealing with a person like that somebody in a an, an field of authority in health and healing areas this person would likely be very favorable for you if that's the case it can be communication decisions choices but an opportunity even that you feel finally you're in that sense of safe hands with the emperor energy in particular the Emperor can also be as an energy taking control of a situation and taking charge in terms of health and healing areas. So you might even be making some significant choice or decision or taking control of a situation here that could be health areas, lifestyle areas, healthy areas, bringing greater structure and regime into your life potentially. Um, and like I said, it could also be in terms of health and healing matters. You know, bringing that sense of health and healing back into your life and taking control of a situation, however it feels like for you. Sometimes we say, you know, I'm going to take control of this and deal with it and, you know, make it happen kind of energy here. Especially if we felt that we've, we've sometimes uh, fallen out of a routine or fallen out of structure or fallen out of... It, uh, a more regimented or disciplined way of doing things, this is a very positive energy of, of getting that back and reintroducing that in some way. It can be a person, like I said. The Six of Wands, this is to do with your heart energies. So the Six of Wands is one of the marriage cards of tarot. So this can sometimes be the energy here where it's time to go for it. Even though... There may have been maybe even in a conflict over a situation. This is somebody who is, is moving forward, even to resolve conflict and challenges. So if you haven't felt the same page as somebody else, or if you've been unsure as to whether to move forward, even in terms of deepening a relationship, a commitment, marriage, for example, this is a very good sign that you or the other person involved, it, this is just moving forward and doing it in a very positive way. Now, the Six of Wands can also be about putting difficulty behind you, fallouts, disagreements, and finding a way to move past that. So, but it's a very, you feel that sense of achievement, that you've overcome something significant here, and you feel that sense of achievement and accomplishment. Certainly in terms of love, romance, general relationships, could be friendships, could be family even, people who are connected to your heart, this can be, okay, let's put whatever is going on behind us and move on from it. But feeling that sense of accomplishment and victory and you're ready for what comes. And you might have been on that sense of uh, discovered more about yourself, your strengths, your strength to face something, deal with it and overcome it as well with this energy. Uh, a real sense of accomplishment. 
You could also be helping somebody close to you overcome something that has been challenging, you know, and and helping them through that kind of difficult time as well. The same energy would apply. So this is a card of victory, triumph, success, significant achievement, um, getting noticed, recognized, accomplishment. But like I said, can be one of the marriage cards as well. The Ace of Cups, this is your abundant areas. So in money career terms, money career finances, the Ace of Cups represents the heart opening up to a new path or doing something that you love. You might be feel it's time, time to start on a new path or something might be opening up for you. This can represent new joy being presented to you, but something that's really connected to your heart. You have an affinity with it. Um, it's emotional, it's connected to our emotions and feelings. We're invested in this new path. So this can be very positive here in terms of starting things that are a better expression of who you are, something that you feel it might well be time to start. Uh, so very positive in terms of new projects or initiatives or hobbies or even the potential of second income streams, but you're doing it because you love it. The money isn't always the focus with the Ace of Cups. It's actually starting something that you love. It does have, with it being in your abundance sector, it does have the potential of money income, this path. But it's about doing something that you love, an expression of who you are in your truth is the energy here. The Ace of Cups can also be linked with expressive industries, uh, so it can be linked with culture, arts, media, entertainment, uh, you know, craft, uh, sculpture, artist. You know, you understand what I'm saying. It's really more ex writing, publishing. It can be expressive industry. So it might well be that there is a new path available to you here that you are exploring, that you're opening to, or you're opening that door on this today as well. So. And I, I always take, you know, the, the readings can resonate for generally a day or two, either side of when the cards are, are released, but generally quite focused around the specific day I ask for. So really, something might be opening for you here. You're deciding to start something because you have a real affinity with that path is the energy here at play. It's doing something that you love. Uh, but it can also be being at a place or returning to a place or opening up to a place that brings new joy or there is that sense of a new path opening for you where there's just new joy that you know the cup is overflowing with abundance on this new path so these energies next to each other can sometimes represent things like promotions uh, advancement you know especially i'm not really crossing over too much with the energies but because i'm looking at that energy i feel the importance of saying that too new joy so let's pull you a fortune message what do we have for cancer message for cancer fortune message we have angel number two your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey is your first message your second fortune card we have snake number 28 your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. Now, Snake, this is a quite a deeply transformative card. So linked with the reading, it might well be for some of you, you are going through shedding of an old skin. It can be very positive in terms of healing or becoming a healer or medicine, finding the right medicine, finding the right solution. So again, this is a very powerful card on that basis, connecting to a healer as well with this energy. Um, but the snake sheds an old skin. It lets go of the old as well. So there is just that sense of renewal and rebirth with snake energy. Or, and again, coming into your truth, coming into, you know, showing the world who you are. This is also linked with the snake energy as well. It's deeply transformative. Cancer, that's what I have for you for the week, for, for the day, 23rd of September, 2024. 
I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.